Leo Messi and Kun Aguero are inseparable. The best friends have known each other since the start of their careers. But a tragedy, more specifically a death, is what sealed their bond in the first place. Messi and Aguero, Aguero and Messi. They go together like Chandler and Joey, like Troy and Abed, like Cristiano Ronaldo and his mirror. Much like their job, their friendship is goals. And it all started just before the 2005 Under-20 World Cup. Leo was chatting with his national squad teammates at lunch. That's when Kuhn went up to him and asked, Who are you? When Leo replied, Lionel. Kuhn asked again, Yeah, but what's your last name? Messi. I had no idea who he was. He laughed. Everyone laughed. Then I remembered hearing on the news about this kid that was in Barcelona. That's where it all started. Kuhn and Leo became roommates for the World Cup. The two were the youngest in the squad, but it was their coach who made that call. He wanted Aguero to stay close to Messi, as he thought Kuhn would make it in Europe in the future, and Leo's experience might help him. Well, he was right. But it was a tragic event that really brought them to be brothers for life. Emiliano Molina was Aguero's best friend at Independiente. Together, they dreamt of making it into the first team. While Kuhn was at the U-20 World Cup, Molina was involved in a serious car crash. He was rushed to the hospital and his life was at risk. Sergio was miles away from Argentina while his friend fought for his life. Then one night, everyone's worst fears came to be. Emiliano died. Leo Messi had woken up first that day and read the news online. He was the one who told Kuhn his childhood friend was dead. Afterwards, they hugged and cried for a long time, helping each other through the grief. It was a very hard moment that strengthened their relationship. The way they told me about it shocks me to this day. That was the moment the duo decided they were on a mission. Argentina had started the World Cup with a loss. Afterwards, they won every single game, while getting up to some mischief along the way. Like the time they broke curfew before a match and raided the snack machine in the hotel lobby. But together, they destroyed David Silva and Cesc Fabregas' Spain 3-1 in the quarterfinals and crushed Felipe Luis and Rafinha's Brazil in the semis and conquered the World Cup against Obi Mikel's Nigeria. Nothing, and I mean nothing, could stop them. Leo Messi was the top scorer and best player of the tournament, while a young Aguero would come off the bench to disrupt matches. Argentina won more than the under-20 World Cup. Their two biggest prospects became BFFs. That's something you can't buy, plan, or script. The key to their relationship is their different personalities. Kuhn's a funny guy. He never stops. I'm more chill. Aguero and Messi combined for the gold in the 2008 Olympics. Off the pitch, they are still roommates at every national team event. And they still dream of lifting the World Cup for Argentina together as brothers.